Hello, N4HNH here with another video in the series that I'm doing about the Yaesu FTDX10. Uh, this video is going to be dedicated to the 60 meter band. Um, I've had people contact me uh, in the past uh, via email, via phone, via text, uh, and via social media, and they'll say, you know, uh, that their radio doesn't have 60 meters. I've I've um I've actually seen people posting and asking how do I do the Mars mod? I hear if I do the Mars mod I can get my radio on 60 meters. That is not necessary with these YC radios uh wow even within the probably the past 10 11 or more years because Yesu does us a favor. They pre-program those channels into the radio. So uh let me let me explain the 60 meter band, uh, and I did a video series, a three part series about the 60 meter band, so I encourage you to go back and watch that if you're not fami familiar with uh, the rules. But we share that band with the government. So we have some pretty strict guidelines that we have. They're not just guidelines or rules we have to follow. The, the transmit bandwidth on USB, for example, uh, where we center up our CW, um, where we insert our carrier for sideband. Those are all governed, and and we have you know essentially ten channels. You have five for sideband, which is USB, and five for CW. And I'll mention a, a note here that the it, even though it's five megahertz, it's USB. For the rest of the uh, bands from forty meters down to one sixty, it's generally lower sideband. Sixty is an exception, and again, that's because. Government agencies, when they use sideband, they use upper sideband. So there's just some strict uh, rules in place for the 60-meter band and to allow us to share it with the government. And we're, of course, also limited to 100 watts ERP. So what Yesu does to help us stay legal is they pre-program the 60-meter channels into the radio. It is a channelized band. And uh, when they pre-program it in, they've got everything set for us, the mode, the bandwidth, uh, where the center of the channel is, where the carrier insertion point is. So it helps us out because we can't accidentally operate uh, outside of our, our boundaries on the 60-meter band. So with that said, let me show you how you get to the 60-meter channels in this uh, Yaesu FTDX10. And what I'm about to show you, most Yesu radios have and, ha and have had for the past, like I said, probably 11 or more years because my FTDX 5000 has this as well. And uh, that radio came out in 2010, I believe. So first of all, you've got these two buttons up here. One says M and the other one says V slash M. V slash M toggles between memory mode and VFO mode. And I've been operating off VFO mode. You can see here I'm listening on 7150, 7.150 megahertz. So let me press the M first and show you what it does. If you press it, you're going to bring up the memory bank. And it's a, a Yaesu radio is always going to default to memory 01. And out of the box, so to speak, it's set at 7 megahertz LSB, lower sideband. Now you can rotate your function knob, which acts as a multi-knob. And just go through them and see it's not assigned anything but that default 7 megahertz. But just keep scrolling through and you'll find the magic numbers. And here they are. Beginning at bank 5-01, so memory bank 5, channel 1, memory slot 1, if you will. That is channel 1 for uh, 60 meters sideband, which is USB. You can see the mode there. Now, if you go back and watch my three-part series on 60 meters, it will explain that you're not actually transmitting your carrier at 5.332 megahertz. That is the center of the channel. It is used for CW, but for sideband, we actually transmit 1.5 kilohertz below that. But the display is going to show what the center of the channel is. Don't worry. The radio takes care of it for you. Now, I'm going to rotate again, and you'll see when I get to 6 it switches over to CWU. Now, that, that's the upper offset of CW or upper sideband CW, if you want to call it that. Um, and those of you who operate CW know what that's all about. The, uh, you have the option when you've got QR Mary and you work in CW, somebody's interfering with you, you can toggle between CWU and CWL, and sometimes that'll take care of the uh, interference. That's even besides all the filtering capabilities these radios have now. 
So that is the center of the channel. So when you see a CWU and you look over here, that is the actual frequency you will be transmitting your CW um, carrier on and off at. But when, the, when we're talking sideband, you're actually transmitting 1.5 kilohertz below that. And again, I encourage you to watch the three-part series I did uh, about the 60-meter band to learn more about that. So that's one way. Now, it, all I have to do is press this knob now, and I can be on channel one of 60 meters. So um, let me turn the RF gain back down. I had it rolled back because I was listening to a QSO over on uh, 40 meters for the previous video. So um, that's one way to access the 60 meter channel. So again, M, rotate, press the function button in. Now I'm on the other channel. There is another way to do it as well. Let me show you that. If I press and hold the step key that says step slash MCH, memory channel, long press that and the LED will flash. Now you use your outer ring here. Uh, the uh, Yesu manual has a name for that ring and it's called the MPVD ring, multi-purpose VFO outer dial. Multi-purpose VFO outer dial. So rotate this while that button is pressed to the point where the LED blinks and you'll cycle through your memory channels. Convenient. So that's how you access the 60 meter channels on the uh, Yaesu FTDX10. Um, I'm still just very impressed with this radio. Everything I, I get into with it, it's, uh, it does a great job. I'm still seeing some noise from the storms that just passed through our area. Uh, so anyway, I hope, uh, hope you found that helpful and informative. 60 meters is a great band if you have not explored it. Uh, it's beginning to get more and more um, popular. It's a very good regional band. Soda operators love it for daytime activations because we're able to uh, reach our friends, you know, in our region, whereas other bands, you know, we're flying over their head. And sometimes 80 meters is not so good in the daytime for that. So 60 meters bridges that gap. And if you go back and watch the video series I did about 60 meters, you'll learn uh, what it took to get us 60 meters. And I will give you a hint. It has to do with emergency operations, emergency uh, communications. So um, with that, I will say uh, uh, thank you for watching. And if you would like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, click the bell and you'll be notified uh, when I upload another video. And, um, and of course, I want to thank my Patreons who help keep the channel going. And if you would like to become a Patreon, uh, please go to www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. That's www.patreon.com slash N4HNH. Every little bit helps. Um, you, you can't uh, run a channel like this without a little bit of help. Uh, there are some costs involved, and um, my Patreons help offset that, so I do much appreciate that. Okay, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day. This is N4H&H saying 73.